Hey guys, what is going on? Crunchy here and welcome to yet another money making guide. So every time I post one of these you guys ask for an FTP method or something like that. So I'm basically a bringing you one today and the profit from this is actually really good. I think it's pretty decent to be honest for FTP. So today I'm going to be showing you the potential amount of money you can make per hour from fletching headless arrows. And to do this you do not need any requirements other than a small amount of startup cash, maybe 100k, something like that. Because the arrow shafts are currently priced at 12 to 13 GP each. At some point in the video they were 12 GP, another point in the 13, so it sort of just uh, goes through those two, but obviously it's one GP difference, it's not that big deal. And the feathers are currently 26 GP each, but you can obviously buy up an extra thousand of those in the Port Serum fishing shop and another thousand in the Lumbridge one. They are only 6 GP from there, so obviously it's obviously a bit cheaper than buying it from the Grand Exchange, and you do get 2,000 of them, so you know, you save a little bit of money, and I believe this can be done once a day, so obviously a bit of daily saving right there, and I tested out various amounts during this video, but just to sort of judge the overall profit per hour, I'm basically going to be using only the prices from the Grand Exchange, just in case, you know, you can't buy any more from the shops or anything like that, it just makes it a little bit easier just to show you what you can get from the Grand Exchange prices, and basically what you can get back. So each time you fletch these two items, together you can create a maximum of 150 headless arrows at a time and it costs roughly 5.7k to do this in supplies but you get back around 7.2k in return so adding all this up you're able to make about 1.5k a time and that only takes 10 seconds which makes it 9k a minute and about 540k an hour now this is pretty decent and it doesn't take into like a consideration the banking time and stuff like that so I'll probably call it about 500k an hour just to be safe and a bit more realistic which is still pretty good for FTP and of course with the money that you save on the 2,000 feathers it's just like a little bit of extra money on top of that as well which is always nice. A bit of information before you begin this method just in case you're wondering the arrow shafts have a 20,000 buy limit every four hours but you can obviously cut down normal trees and use the logs to create some for yourself and the feathers have a 10,000 buy limit but you can get an extra 2,000 as I mentioned before and obviously members can gather them from other fishing shops as well. Or to save money, you could just collect the feathers from killing chickens in various locations as well. Also, another way which I would probably say is one of the best ways and more efficient ways, I guess, to obtain these items is buying them off friends or just like random people playing the game around the Grand Exchange or in like a busy bank or something like that. Um, you can just buy them off them for the price that you'd buy them in the Grand Exchange and hopefully you can keep going and not run out of supplies depending on how many people you ask and all that stuff. This I do highly recommend doing as obviously the method doesn't require much time as you see in the video, it's like 6 seconds of time and you go through them pretty quickly so in order to make as much profit as possible it's pretty vital I guess to sort of achieving that final goal of money and on that note I would also recommend buying up all your supplies before beginning like fletching at all just to sort of avoid any like damage to your potential money per hour. This obviously doing it before is also going to take a bit of time but it just means you can sort of see uh, a flow of how much money you make as opposed to like cutting and changing in between and all that stuff. And as you can see in the video, all the items are currently buying and selling easily of no hassle. They're doing really well. Um, they're obviously buying through easy, selling and all that stuff. So it's really good. And you know, there's not really, you don't have to lower it that much, you don't have to hire it or anything like that. Uh, just pretty solid items at the moment. So obviously if you're doing this guide near to when I'm posting it, then you should be okay for this too. However, if you are watching it like a few weeks, a month, a few months, whatever, later on, I would definitely recommend checking the price prices just in case they're not really like you know worth it the profit isn't as great as it used to be I just obviously check it just in case so you don't really waste time or money but yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video hopefully you have enjoyed it and make some money from it a uh, big thumbs up because obviously you've been wanting at FTP for quite a long time so hopefully uh, this is good for you guys I've read the requests also for the AF cable methods you're after and I will try and get on them pretty soon as well so fingers crossed they'll be coming in the next week or two and yeah that's pretty much it guys like always thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one